Hey everyone, uh, it's Mike from Sagaborn. Uh, it's been a while. I uh, wanted to do a quick video. Um, I need to import a map from my uh, my old group. We're getting back together. We're going to run some games. And they have an old stronghold uh, that was made before I had Arkenforge. So this is an old map I made in Photoshop. I wanted to quickly convert it over to Arkenforge. And I figured, hey, that'd be a pretty good video to show everyone uh how easily you can take a uh, a non Arkenforge map and and make it work in Arkenforge. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab just the actual JPEG image, drag and drop it. All right, we got it there. I know it's huge, so I need to move it to the. Uh, Move to train level. I want to move it down one because uh, I'm going to put it sort of on the basement level for right now. And now I'm going to. And of course, back when I did Photoshop maps, I didn't even make uh, the maps didn't end with the grid. So it uh, that there's some half grids on here, which makes it more of a pain to set up. All right, so I line that up. Looks like I got a little too big. Now I'll just slowly bring this in until it looks right. This is always uh, can be quite a hassle, but uh, looks like I got pretty close there. You know, at least for the house. Uh, looks like we go in a little bit more. No, this is riveting, isn't it? All right. probably got to be an easier way to do this and then someone can do a video and show me what I'm doing wrong but the main thing is that's about the size of it and uh, that's all that matters to me so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I don't want to block what I'm seeing below so I'm going to work on the walls first And I see lines, thin walls. Uh, let's find a wall that sort of looks like this one. There we go, cobblestone. Now I never like to have drop shadows on my walls. So I'm going to Get rid of drop shadows real quick. You want to block that. Blocking enabled. Drop shadow. All right, drop shadow is now off. So now anytime that I grab this line again, straight line, see it's loaded up down here. You want to have it add corners. It's not going to have that drop shadow. Holding down control here. So that way everything is locking in. Oh man, this grid is awful. Let's 
So one thing that they haven't enabled yet is the ability to re add a break in a line when you make a circle. So I will just sort of make my own circle here. not holding control now because I'm having a hard time getting that circle to look right. There you go. It's much better. Now we can come on the inside here and I can rearrange these walls later. Once I don't have the distraction of what's underneath. Alright, so now we got the basic outline of the of the upper floor. And then next we're gonna do so basically I'm just outlining this. We can adjust it later. I'm getting what I feel is the uh, overall shape of it. Over here we got, this is the top tower. Um, I guess we can ar already just get that going so that way we know that. And I'll copy this from down below and then we will that outline now if I copied in the image so let's say I'd actually made this image and the the grid let me jump down one level uh, and I'll make it where it's not uh, so confusing so see here it's it it lines up here to the edge of the grid but here it isn't and so if I just cut this off along the grid edge and along there uh, then I could have just looked up and saw that it's probably like 29 by 45 or whatever and then when I uh, dragged it in it would have been much easier to size it up but I uh, I didn't plan that far ahead so I just dropped it in and uh, even uh, with that I would say that we got a, a pretty good uh, set up pretty good feel for what the original map was uh, even with that quick drag and drop there. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, now let's get the, oh, it looks like they have prison cells. Oh, yeah, of course they have prison cells. <laughs> uh, my my playgroup, this old playgroup, definitely uh, pushed some boundaries. Uh, they're the reason I came up with the horror rules. I mean, not that they're doing really evil stuff, but they didn't have a problem grabbing someone, toss them down the brig down below. All right, and then copy that. Right over there. We will. Just line up. All right. 
pretty happy with how all this is currently. And so now, uh, I can figure out some things. Let's shrink this down. There's some windows in here. never worry too much about getting the windows right because uh, you always have to, I always have to adjust them whenever I uh, once I lay them down I like them to line up exactly so we'll go to window I have all the cyberpunk stuff loaded, so there's a lot of extra stuff on here. Here we go. Here's my favorite window. Well, that's lined up pretty well, isn't it? All right, and copy it, paste. Doing Control C and V as a quick way to get these down and then I uh, holding control say lock into place now see if you hold down control it makes the wall go too deep in so and the reason that I don't have the wall just go through the windows is when we put light sources on the inside I want the light sources to flow out of these windows uh, it definitely adds a a nice touch to uh, the lighting in the map. Uh, like, let's pull up a torch. Customize lighting light enabled. Maybe it's too bright. Let's make it a little bit darker. Nope. Oh, well, that's just Oh, because I have to choose torch. There we go. So see, that's a nice little, if we drag this over to here, put that up against the wall, and see it's, the light's actually coming in through the window, which I feel is a very nice touch. need to start dragging some of my favorite things. I got the favorite windows and favorite doors and they're not over on the right hand bar which seemed to be the smart thing to do. Of course I could also just go to objects, doors, instead of having to scroll through all this door perspective. Let's just drag that up there. Just on there. Move this torch over between the two. And there we go. Yeah, I've thought about doing some, uh, you know, I have a few favorite, you know, when I build a bedroom, I use certain things. When I build a kitchen, I use certain things. And I think I want to do a, uh, a whole set where. I can just like paint down a, a a bedroom and then 
you know, it's got these objects that I always like to use. Um, I think I'll put that on my list of things to do and maybe I can share it to those uh, on the Patreon who have Ark and Forge if they want to have the things that I have. All right, so we got the basics now. Let's go down one level. Uh, I don't want to get rid of this because I will probably use it as reference. There we go. So we got the tower here. I'm going to select this toggle grouped. I'm going to uh, move it up one level. Oh no, that's not it. There we go. Move up one level. And that will go right over top there. And then back down, select this, toggle grouped, and then move down. Well, let's move up one level. Make this fit there, and then move down one level. Now we know that if we're using this on a tabletop like uh, which I will be playing live with this group uh, I will be able to quickly uh, move up and down the levels so uh, next obviously we need a ground of some sort so we'll go to uh, textures grass and foliage just throw down some dark grass. You know, this group's always making enemies, so they're probably going to have someone try to invade them at some point. So let's make the area around their keep real big. All right, and then uh, we need a wood floor. good so we got pretty much all one square except for up here so let's go move that all down one there we go up and see this oh. oops I have it grouped ungroup it hmm. it's a very thin area so we'll maybe this thing will overhang a bit this to match up all right we'll select that go there line got it selected isn't exactly lining up right. Try and make it more of a circle. Hey, I'm sure they didn't build it perfect. Got that. I'm going to lay this down as a tile in the top area. 
and I'm going to also do one of my favorite things. I love their uh, objects. Are we still under fantasy? No. Uh, they have these rooftops under the fantasy uh, objects. This will that will be so when you're on the second level you're gonna see this roof below you. And I think it'll make it seem pretty cool. Like you can jump out a window to get to the roof. Um so now we're gonna do uh tile polygon and you just click inside of this circle and then there you go now you got the floor done second tower level uh, because I am a completionist completionist is that even a word I don't know if not, I just made it up. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, we don't have a. It's got a tower. Well, it can have a different uh, color for the tower top. I'm going to make this uh, move to object level. So that way, if you're all the way on the outside and you want people to just. See the stuff outside. You can get a feel for like the the rooftops. You know what? If the tower is going to be terracotta, maybe the the little awning out should be as well. It's not exactly the same color, but I could probably fix that. more sense. Move this one up to the object layer as well. Control T. I have Control T set as a hotkey for bringing something to the top. You, you end up doing that a lot. Alright, so let's go to color. Let's see if we bring the saturation down a little bit. Can we change the hue to sort of match that a little bit better? Brightness. Alright, there we go. It's not perfect, but so we got a roof down below. You know what? It's gonna drive me crazy if these don't match. So let's see. Matt building assets, modular roof. Let's see if I like one of these terracotta roofs more. I 
Yeah. Just knowing from a hit control B there to send it down to the bottom. I know if you're building a, uh, a house, you're going to build it with the same roof. So now we can skip back up. So I'm going to another level, even though this is on uh, level one. I'm going to go up to level two, but it's still selected. So therefore, I can uh, work on the color a little bit. Saturation down, hue, just a little purple, brightness. And there you go. So if they're coming up from the outside, they're going to see a, uh, you know, a, a sort of three level. And as you go down, that opens up. Let's pull this right there. go. Alright, so level two, level one. I believe we had fireplace, staircase down, staircase up over there. Oh, I didn't get this done yet. So we'll go to map building, assets, tiled, and polygon. There you are put enough points in this that you're not cutting across and making any empty spaces along the curved wall. I've done that before. Just takes a couple more clicks. And there we go. Alright, so we'll go uh, this is a fireplace. It's in the map pack of Sagaborn stuff I've created. It's an object I made a long time ago. Customize lighting. We want it to be a campfire. There we go. Look at that. Already looking so cozy. So, uh, well, we're right at 27 minutes. Uh, you know, we still have quite a bit of work to do to fill this out, but, uh, as you can see, it doesn't take that much to, uh, to come in to block out the basic shapes. And, uh, I think we'll, we'll leave it at this for, for this simple start. And then, uh, sometime next week, I might do a follow up as I come in and finish this up and I'll. Uh, maybe I'll have some of those pre-built modules that I'm, I was talking about before. So, uh, well, uh, we'll have that ready, or this will be up on YouTube later today. We'll have the rest of the stuff uh, out hopefully the next week or two. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you next time. And as always, keep adventuring.